Hey everyone, welcome back! New year, new you, all of that stuff. Um, super excited to kick off this year. I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently. So for those of you that have been following along um, my regulars on the weekly blog, uh, thank you so much for your support and what I wanted to do this year is get a little bit more structured in the content and try and pull together almost like a bit of a journal for you in terms of building your personal and organizational capacity for transformational change. So what I've decided to do is each month uh, there's going to be a theme, whether that's a particular topic in business transformation or maybe it's a theme about your own personal transformation, maybe it's a blend of both. But each month we're going to go through with a different theme uh, and the weekly videos that I'm putting out, all the content that I put out will be in line with that theme. So over the course of the month you'll get to build this picture of diving into some of these concepts in a little bit more detail and uh, a few exercises, worksheets, that sort of thing. So if you're here and you're on YouTube or you're on uh, the podcast or you're on a, a platform, by all means, you'll still have access to all of this free content. If you would like to get all the little extras that go along with it, then please head over to the website and sign up to be part of my email list. That way you'll get all of the workbooks, the worksheets, all of that stuff that goes along with the, I guess, the working documents that go along with the uh, video content as well. So you can start to dive deeper. I've got a whole bunch of exercises for you to do. So with that out of the way, this month I wanted to start with alignment. Uh, alignment is, is the first place that I start for so many reasons and what I wanted to talk about today was this idea of getting yourself lined up. We're coming into a new year, you know, many of us have set goals for the new year, um, we're all familiar with that process of goal setting and new gym memberships that then don't get used for the rest of the year. Uh, this month I wanted to talk about alignment and I really wanted to kick the year off with this idea of getting lined up from the inside out. So if you've worked with me before, you know that I'm a firm believer in doing the work on yourself before you do the work on your organization. It's incredibly important that we keep working with self-reflection and self-work so that we're evolving as individuals, as people, uh, and that way we're growing into some of these concepts that are going to stretch us, uh, they're going to challenge us, it's going to be outside of our comfort zone because that's what change is all about and making change can be really uncomfortable. Yes, it can be great, yes, we can get to this place that's that's better off uh, in the long term, but it's also, it also can be a stretch and that's okay. So the idea of lining ourselves up from the inside out uh, as if, if you come on retreat with me, one of the things that we do every day is we will do a mindful movement practice. Now, out there in the world, this could be many, many things to you. Um, I've had ultra runners, trail runners, uh, free divers, all sorts of people that have all sorts of different ways of getting out there and moving their bodies. Uh, and what I teach on retreat is a mindful movement practice every morning. And the intent is really to stay present with the physical activity that we're doing. And I liken this to, it's very different to sit and lift weights in a gym and be thinking about your day elsewhere versus to actually feel the contraction of a muscle to zone in on the movement itself. Um, a bit like climbing stairs. It's kind of like you can wander up those stairs without even thinking about it or you can choose to pay attention to the muscles that are engaging as you place one foot more heavily into the floor, lift, step into, and then press through the second foot. It's a whole different concept. So this idea of mindful movement is, uh, is something, it's a tool that I've found very, very helpful in terms of building alignment. Uh, you will all know that I'm a big yogi. So I use the example of yogis and dancers. And when we're talking about alignment, sometimes you get into a conversation of what it looks like from the outside. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is how do we line ourselves up from the inside out. It's kind of like that idea that beauty comes from the inside, that if you're a good person on the inside, that will show up in the way that you're expressed externally. So we want to do that work on ourselves internally. We want to do that self-awareness, that alignment work and have that come through and express in our external environment. So 
there's a lot of different ways that we can move our body uh, and sometimes they come from different perspectives. Uh, I've worked with a few dancers and uh, you know they if they're coming from dancing into yoga they'll often talk about when they were in that mode of competitive or professional dance there can be a lot of emphasis on what the external shape looks like. How is the body perceived in space externally for somebody that's watching you perform there's a there's a, a focus on what how does that look externally and sometimes that can be in conflict with how the body is feeling conversely the school of yoga that I really enjoy and really get a lot out of is focused a lot more on a concept of alignment from the inside out so what does it feel like it's not so much about a perfect external expression as it is about what it feels like in the moment, what it feels like in your body. So if we are in a standing pose, I'm not so worried if you are lined up perfectly straight. I'm not so worried if your knees are slightly bent if we're doing a forward fold. I'm not stressed about how that necessarily looks externally. I'm more interested in how it feels in your body. So if we are doing a forward fold type of movement, then we're looking for perhaps a bit of a stretch in the hamstrings. Um, we're looking for a release of your back muscles or making sure that that spine is, um, is nice and loose. So if that looks like really heavily bent knees, that's okay. It doesn't have to, it's not about that external expression. It's about what it feels like internally. And so we want to use this concept when we are working through our business transformation as well. Sometimes it feels really uncomfortable, and that's actually about exploring some of those areas and some of those corners of, why does it feel uncomfortable? <laughs> why is it there? So if you want to dive into more detail around this, what you're looking for is the field of somatics. And you'll start to hear me use this word somatic uh, more and more frequently. So somatics, full credit to Wikipedia, is a field within bodywork and movement studies which emphasizes internal physical perception and experience. The term is used in movement therapy to signify approaches based on the soma or the body as perceived from within. So your exercise today, <laughs> to take away your homework for today, is to go and find yourself a journal. This is going to be really, really important over the coming year. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of little exercises, and I want you to have a little book or a little journal that you can start to write some stuff down in. And your homework for this week is to, once you've got that journal, actually just have um, a couple of days, maybe, maybe take a week, to start to just make some notes about how you're feeling today, coming into the new year, um, what that looks like for you, how the body's feeling, how the mind's feeling, are you excited, are you pumped up for the new year, and track that over a few days. Just watch those internal movements, emotional and physical within your body, and start to tune in, because this concept of aligning from the inside out is going to come up again and again and again. When we are hit with an external experience, then depending on how we're organized internally, depends on how we show up externally. It's, it's kind of like that conversation where we talk about having an emotional reaction is okay. We can't control our emotional reaction. But what we can do is choose how we respond to a particular situation. So if something hits us in the face and we have a really bad reaction to it, if we can make that little bit of space before we choose to respond, that's our, that's our choice in how we show up in the world. This is the stuff that we're going to get into over the coming month. So that's your homework for this week. Go grab yourself a journal. Um, I would take three to five days of noting your, uh, your internal environment just as a bit of an exercise to sort of take a pause, take a moment, and tune in and go, what does it feel like to be in my body today? Emotionally, physically, mentally, make a few notes. So that's it from me this week. Uh, I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day. And uh, if you'd like to get the worksheets and the accompanying materials for the videos that are going on, then hit me up with a message. You can DM me here um, or you can jump on the website, sign up for the email list, and you're going to get a whole bunch of supporting material that goes along with the videos uh, and the content that's coming out for the rest of the year. So that's us. This month is alignment. 
go out there and I hope wherever you are you're having an awesome day and you totally smash it for the week.